Hello everybody and welcome to your next XNA tutorial. Uh this tutorial is just gonna be quick. Uh it's just modifying some of the code uh from what I've taught you last tutorial. So if we go to our camera class, uh, we notice that in our update, uh, when we update our camera's position, we do it uh, based on the screen width and the screen height. Uh, so now we we don't need this anymore. We don't need the screen width and the screen height. What we're gonna do is that we're going to uh, take a viewport in here. And for the viewport, in order to work, we need to add in the graphics. Uh, so oh yeah, don't mind this. I'll just doing something for the next tutorial. So you need the graphics in there, and. Uh, don't mind this code right here. Uh, but what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put in our our view, and what we're gonna do is instead of doing uh the screen width of uh the width of that, what we're gonna do is just get our view width and our view height. So once we do that, then we're going uh, our screen scrolling will be relative to the our views width and our views height ra rather than doing our our full screen width and our screen height. So if I go to my gamer.cs and I have to go to the update. Oh I, I don't have the screen width property from here. Uh so I'll just put six forty because the screen is six forty I believe it is. Uh so in our update what we wanna do is we want to uh first of all well we have the problem is that we have this within a for loop, and if I set, if I had my view portions under doing player one view and player two view, uh, then it would be easy, as easy as putting player uh, view and then putting I there. Uh, but since I don't have that, uh, then I could simply just make a viewport right here. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. So I'll simply make a viewport and I'll name that view and I'll be I'll put that equal to um new viewport two and then in our viewport we're gonna put player one view sorry player one view and our player two view so now that we got that within there uh yeah since we got that in there now we're gonna just put our view and just put i in there so now that we got that straight and sorted out uh, i think everything is all right so everything's all right so then if we run this program right now uh our screen our player will start scrolling once it reaches the halfway point of the viewport uh okay so then i believe that maybe or our screen is probably 800 by 600 or something i'm not really sure what the viewport is right now uh that's why the line was kind of messed up uh, so i'll just put 800 okay so our line is uh correct this time and once our player reaches the halfway point in the viewport then that's when it will start scrolling Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. Sorry for the uh of what happened last tutorial. Sorry for not informing you about that. But yeah, uh, it's fixed this time, and hopefully you guys have fun with the split screen. So thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.